Hey, how y'all doing? What's cooking with Dave once again? I'm Dave. Hey, today I'm cooking in Dutch oven. I had somebody request that I cook a whole chicken in the Dutch oven. I said, sure. I like chicken. I like Dutch oven. I like chicken in the Dutch oven because it's very, very good. So we're going to take the Dutch oven. We're going to cook some chicken in it. Uh, if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can use any pot that you can put in the oven. Or you can use a roasting pan, just cover it up. Or you can just put this in the crock pot. I think it's probably better in the crock pot or the Dutch oven than the other way. You cook the chicken slow, you cook it long, fall apart, juicy, cannot beat it. It takes us about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to cook it in the Dutch oven. And a crock pot probably takes four or five hours. Cook it till it's tender, juicy, fall off the bone. I'm going to cook it with some tomatoes. If you want to, you can use some potatoes. I like the tomatoes, so I use them. Uh, I love tomatoes. Tomatoes are good for you. You've got the lycopene in tomatoes. Everybody needs some lycopene up in their diet. It is good and it's good for you. Alright, I'm going to bring you over here show you how we do it. Got my Dutch oven there. I'm going to put it on about medium high. Get a little heat going, melt that butter. Okay, after our butter starts to melt, I'm going to go ahead and put my onions in there. I'm going to put one whole chopped up onion right in that butter. Now if you don't want to, you don't have to use butter. You can use some olive oil or whatever you want to sweat your onions out. I like to use a little butter. Sometimes I use olive oil. But olive oil is getting so expensive. And I don't know if you all know the difference between olive oil. There's either real, real good olive oil or there's real, real bad olive oil. Doesn't seem to be any in between. So if you want to buy good olive oil, that's expensive. Y'all know what I'm saying. Anyway, I put a whole chopped up onion in the bottom of my pan there, start sweating those onions out in my Dutch oven, get it going on. I'm going to put, I don't know, about three tablespoons of garlic in there. So we want onions, we want garlic flavor in our chicken. I like it. Stir those up in there. Get them sweating out. And I want the pan to be pretty hot. Like I said, I have it on medium high. So I want to sear this chicken before I put it into the oven. And I want it to get brown on all sides. So I'm going to start with a pretty good heat on top of the stove. Alright, onions and garlic in there. If you want to, you can throw some peppers in there. Uh, a little red pepper, bell pepper maybe, maybe some cayenne peppers. I'm going to hit it with some salt and some pepper. I got me a whole bird. I washed him off. He's all washed off. I'm going to stick him right down there on that heat so I can get some searing going on. And on top of him, I'm going to sprinkle a little cayenne pepper. Get some little flavor. Maybe I'll hit it with a little bit of paprika. Just a little bit on top there and then I will hit it up. Y'all know that I'm going to put some Italian season on it because that's my way. And I'm going to cook for a minute just to get some searing going on there, lock some of those juices in there and uh, I'm going to flip it over and do it again, try to do it on all sides and then I'll put the lid on it and stick it in the oven and we'll cook it slow. I'm going to cook it on 400. Uh, but we'll cook it for about an hour and a half or until it's just tender, juicy, fall off the bone, and then we'll know it's done. Now, I'm going to add about halfway cooking this thing. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to add some tomatoes to it. If you wanted to, you could add some potatoes or whatever else you'd like to eat. You could put celery in there. You could put peppers or whatever you like. Put vegetables in there. I like some tomatoes. I like potatoes. So today I'm going to use some tomatoes. I'm going to serve chicken with tomatoes on top of some rice. Oh, it's going to be good. All right, let me see if I can get this thing flipped. It's still cool on top, so I can still grab it and turn it over hot on the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to hit it with a little cayenne, a little bit. There's my oven heated up. It's ready to go. 400 degrees, a little paprika and some Italian seasoning.
Okay, and then now I will lay it down, back, the back side down. If you want to, you can put it breast side down. If you put it breast side down, it helps the breast stay more moist. I like the breast side up. Now, if you want to, at this time, you can say, okay, I'm ready to go in the crock pot. Take all this to onions and juice everything, put it into a crock pot, and cook it, you know, four or five hours in the crock pot until it's tender and juicy and ready to go. And it'll be pretty much the same thing. Put this in the oven, and then when I take it out, uh, we're going to drain the juice off, add some tomatoes, put it back in the oven, cook a little longer, and we'll take a look at it and see what we got. All right, I just took my chicken out of the oven. Gonna take a look at it. See how it's doing. Looks like it's doing good. I'll poke it with a fork. See it getting tender. Getting done down there. See, not all the way done. Don't want to be all the way done just yet. I want to add my tomatoes before I get it all the way done. I've been cooking in about 45, 50 minutes, 400 degrees, and it's pretty much gonna be done. So I'm going to drain the juice off it and then add my tomatoes. Right. And I'm going to add two cans, 14 ounce cans of just some Hunt's diced tomatoes. I like tomatoes. They're good and they're good for you. They're actually better for you if they're cooked. Uh, I'm going to spread them around. I'm going to leave some on top. Put them like that. I'm going to put the lid on this bad boy. I'm going to stick it back in the oven and continue to cook it another probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes. We'll see. I'm going to make some rice to go with it. It's going to be good. Okay, I just took it out the oven. I've been cooking about another 45 minutes. Let's take the lid off. Take a look. Oh, it looks good. Look at that. All right, here we are back at the Dutch oven. I let it sit a little while while I was finishing up my rice. And man, it's just looking wonderful. I'm gonna take me some that breast meat right there. Put it on my rice. Get me a leg. Out of there. A little thigh action. I like tomatoes. Tomatoes are good for you. Like a peanut up in the tomato. Get some lycopene up in you, it's good for you. How can you go wrong? Tomatoes, chicken, and rice. That's what I call dinner. And that's what we call time to do dishes. Dinner is good. Dinner was over. Dinner is over. And yet dinner was good. You have a cat's eyeballing it, but a cat ain't getting any either. All right. So just got to over there. Got to! What you doing, got to? Look at me. So, what are you doing? What's going on? You being a good doggy? Steve's a good doggy. Steve is a good doggy. Hey, 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 where are you going? Sit. We told you to move. What's going on with the fat dog? Steve's fat dog. There you go. Look up. Say hello. There's Chester. What's Chester? Chester. What's going on, Chester? That's Chester. Sit. Chester, good doggy. Chester, good doggy. What y'all doing? What y'all looking for chicken? Steve, you want some chicken? Steve, you want some chicken? Do you like chicken? Oh no, just like chicken. They like chicken. Where's the chicken? Oh no, get some chicken. Steve. Okay, man, that's good chicken. I'll tell you right now, with the tomatoes in there and the rice. Something wonderful. I love the stewed tomatoes are good. Good on this chicken. Y'all gonna like this. Go out and cook this in Dutch oven or a crock pot. Uh, or any kind of pot you can put in the oven. You'll like it. It's good. Good for you. Tomatoes, chicken. How can you go wrong? Y'all have a great day. Thanks.